yo we're back here with another video today and today we'll be talking about who will the philadelphia 76ers be drafting we have done every pick before the 76ers draft pick so if you want to see those the nets the mavericks the timberwolves go to my channel subscribe while you're there and check those out let me hear your opinions down below who will the 76ers draft and let's hit that like button because we're going for 10 likes on this video so there's a few guys who are interesting that could end up in philadelphia we all know philadelphia wants to shoot the ball they want to shoot the ball and they need a point guard a true point guard a guy who's better than the current point guard who could that be you know it could be a few people honestly that it could be theo maladon theo maladon is one of my favorite players because he can guard the six not the six he's six foot five with like a six foot seven wingspan he can guard the one through the threes he can do he can do everything he's a great player he's a phenomenal player who has a lot of skills to be excited about he's a career 36 percent three-point shooter 40 79 percent free throw shooter which means he is a good shooter he has a clean compact shooting mechanics he's capable of both with his feet set and even off the dribble even though he has been inconsistent there at times look there's nothing about his game that makes it pop but he's an efficient player whose mistakes aren't are like happening a lot he keeps mistakes at a minimum okay he plays with a lot of impressive poise he knows how to bring up he has a lot of really good reviews on his work ethic and approach to the game which is something i think the 76ers should not overlook yeah he's a little skinny at 174 pounds he could guard with one through threes some threes of course only some but if you put 30 pounds on him i think he could be a really good player look he does not have the like the explosive he's not explosive he's an athlete but he's not an ex elite athlete he's not an explosive athlete He's a methodical style of play. He relies heavy on craft and touch shots, gets caught up in screens, and struggles with physicality at handling switches. There's a lot of things that you could like say there's a red flag, there's a red flag there, there's a red flag here. That's with a lot of players. Did he only play? He did play ASVL, which is a higher for a team which is in a higher league than Kelly and Hayes is. I think Kelly and Hayes has a lower ceiling and a higher floor, while Theo Maldon has a higher ceiling but a lower floor. So he's more of a boom bust player. More. You know, you're risking it for the biscuit when you get Theo Maldon. But he can offer you a good shooter. You can offer you being a good 3 and D wing with shot, like with playmaking ability. You kind of be like Theo, Theo Luabu Kabrat was supposed to be, but with more ball handling and playmaking. What are you supposed to be? Because you're supposed to be like an elite 3 and D guy. Tuwawu Luwau, I don't even know. Like it's interesting it's interesting though if we're going sorry my my computer went off a lot of distractions right now <clears throat> the next guy desmond bain he's like it's like desmond bain is a good player but it's interesting to see that desmond bain he's a finished product you know where you're getting with him he's probably not going to improve that much he's played two years look tyrell terry has the size but he has no defensive he's a defensive liability which you know could work out for the sixers because the sixers are such a good defensive team that they need an offensive player like tyrell terry desmond Bain has the possibility of being a good three and d guy but right now all he's going to give you is the three and if you're just a three you're not really that like is that really that valuable i don't fucking know it all depends on you but yeah that's just like what i'm thinking I, I don't even know what would be the best course of action tyrell terry you get a new point guard i think theo maladon's a better point guard than tyrell terry but tyrell terry's been going up the boards and desmond bain is a three and d guy and he's like a finished prime people are raving over his shot but oh, i just oh, i don't know that's just my thoughts that's my two cents that's my pickles i just don't like the fact that we're like hey Desmond Bain, he's just shooting up the board, and he's just a guy who just shot really well from three and hasn't shown much besides that. Tyrell Terry, I haven't done a lot of reviews on him, but what I've seen is he's a really good offensive player, but he's a huge defensive liability, and he doesn't have any physical profiles to mean that he has a chance of becoming a good defensive player. So I don't know. What what is Tyrell Terry? I don't know. Let me hear your guys' opinion down below. That's about all, guys. I think they're gonna go Theo Maladon or Tyrell Terry. Because I've seen that they love Tyrell Terry, so I wouldn't be surprised if they take Tyrell Terry. Though, as always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Puppies out.